Come on. He broke his arm. CPS. Damn, see, girl, I didn't know you was open like that. Now, I didn't know you could be a bucket too now. I'm just saying. And like, we need buckets. And you ain't let me know you can hit moving threes? Just look at all the baggage she got. She got crazy stalker guys calling the house. Now, come on now. Do you want a woman with that much baggage? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I know I don't want to look at like y'all motherfucking asses. Not my type, man. Wasn't all that great. This shit is serious. If a person saying they're going to threaten you, don't play with me. He's like, and shot. I know what you <laughs> need. You call and go. Coming up. Now, I'm going to tell you. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm reporting this nigga. Episode six, talk to me. On flavor of love. I'm so glad I didn't get rid of you, you first girl. No, my bad. Are you guys ready for a flavor of love bedtime story? Yeah. And then. It's not the wiki, but it ain't my fucking fault that we it's lost because nice. I don't want to go home. So Am I interested in Tyson Paul? Absolutely not, bro. I, I wish Mike Tyson would not fight that nigga. Even if when y'all watch this video on YouTube, because I know he just started an episode of Flavor of Love. If Mike Tyson even wins that match, knocks him out, I, my, my opinion don't change. I don't want to see Mike Tyson do that. You in, in a professional fight, you're in your fucking 50s, 60s. I don't know. I don't even know how old my nigga really is. Um, bro, it's going on your professional record for real. Absolutely not. Then Mike Tyson just had a health scare on a damn plane. He, they said it was ulcers or whatever. Bro, too old, bro. Hell no. And imagine if he knocked my nigga Mike out. I'm going to be sick as fuck. No, bro. I'm not gonna slap you right now. Who would slap you? Do what? Miami. BX, you didn't tell me you and Usher went out on a nice, cozy date. Usher is a nice guy. That's all I'm going to say. The time is up. Okay. There's eight girls left, Damn. and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. This is the number one prospect. She really can hoop if she won't, bro. But the problem is, she don't know if she wanna be a bucket or not, chat. I don't know who her pro comparison is. When she decides to play, fuck, she can score. Well, I don't know if she really wants. Guess what, baby? I hate to step it up. Hey, what's up, baby girl? Welcome. Welcome home. Wow. What's up, baby? She was in a hot bikini for real. Give me like about five minutes. Okay. I wanted to see it right then and there, but I had to take care of business first. You know? You had to shit. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. I even got the air freshened up. Hell no. Oh, she starts setting up some candles. Wow. <laughs> it feels so good in here. Oh, man. You don't even know right. just Yo, ladies. <laughs> Gotta step up your game and get aggressive. Because Miami is really, really trying to step up to the plate now. Yo, I ain't lying. You stop the smoking. Thank you. You know what? Man, you the only one that stepped up again. Flay was looking at me. I was looking at him. He was looking at me. I was looking at him. He was looking at me. And we kissed. So I know this man feeling me right now. So I'm I'm not even worried about the next elimination. I got you all to myself. You do, you do, you do. All he did was kiss. I don't care, baby. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Yo, hey, uh, Q, appreciate you for the goddamn gift of sub, gang. I appreciate you. That's the first gifted. Thank you. Calling to be the bearer of bad news. What? Uh, 
bills coming up short, just like a hundred dollars short. You know, there was a few bills that I needed to really kind of take care of, and I wasn't really there for the last few weeks or so, you know, to really handle it. How much is electricity? Uh, $357, I believe. It's just stressful when you're used to handling your household and your kids and you're not there to do it. They're doing on this show. Okay. I can't let my yeah. electricity get cut off. That's just ridiculous. You have two kids. Like, nothing's more important than that. The bill is like 400 bucks a month. So, I mean, like, who do you call and ask for that kind of money from? Call the company and tell them. I'm already on an extension. Oh, you are. Fun's upset with a lot of things things that she's got going on, you know, at home as far as her children and all of it has just really hit her because she's really upset. So look, baby, listen, y'all paying $357 in 2004. What the fuck are you doing? What kind of Marvel electricity material y'all got going on? Like, fuck is that? Tell them kids, turn them motherfucking lights off. Matter of fact, nigga. The lights bill so high, everybody take a bath in the dog. Take a bath in the dog. Only time the lights on, you get dressed. Matter of fact, I need y'all to get dressed. F flick flash, real quick. Flick, they got the shirt I want, flash, turn it off. Flick, they got the pants I want, flash, turn it off. Then you get dressed in the dog. He built too motherfucking high, dog. Fuck that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna turn my lights off. Hello? What's up, babe? Hey, who's this? Raina. Hey, so I thought it was kind of weird that Raina was calling the house. Raina. Right now I'm really feeling Miami. What the hell is she Time doing? is up. Hey, like, don't you have a life to get back to? What's up? Tell them bitches I'm done and falling. Tell Flav I said watch his grill. Oh. And when she told me. Bitch, you is weird. Ain't you been kicked out of the league, OJ? Get your ass out of here! That I was like, oh hell no! I'm mad at all though. Girl, you are tripping. That right there just let me know that she's got some tricks up her sleeve. All right, bye. Hey, ladies, come on down. Good afternoon, Good ladies. ladies. Good afternoon, Flav. Good afternoon, Flav. What we gonna do is have a thing called the total packages con. Look at Flav braids, y'all. Flav got the braids of a of a game that don't have black hairstyles, and they give you those. He got the racist braids, y'all. Test. Now, I need a lady that's classy, that's hot, motherly, lucky, spiritual. She gotta have smarts, and she gotta be able to rescue me. Big Rick got names inside of a hat. He's gonna pick a name out. The person that he picks out picks her opponent. Now the winner comes back over here and she keeps competing and the loser of the challenge goes and sits over there on the loser's bench. The person that wins the overall challenge gets a solo date with your man tomorrow. All right, ladies, the first challenge is class. Thing one, thing two, you up. <laughs> Who do you guys think you're classier than here? We think that we're classier than Hotlander. I'm definitely a whole hell of a lot more classier than them. They are like hood rats. All right, ladies, check this out. Your man has been traveling all over the world. So I need a woman that's going to try new things. This is the most fanciest foods in the world. This right here is called pate. This right here, pagua. And this right here is brains. Oh, my God. motherfucking fear factor, nigga. The woman who gets through these delicacies first no. will be declared the winner. Thing one and thing two, I want to have to decide which one of you is going to sit down to take the challenge. Thing one. Thing one. Good strategy. Thing one obviously gets to the meals a little bit quicker than the other. Go. Come on, Trisha. Got it, got it, got it, got it. This plate costs thirty-five hundred dollars each. Oh my gosh, it was disgusting. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Take it. It tastes worse than it smells. Oh my god. Damn, baby, I can't tell you breaking that bitch down like a chicken thigh. You hear me? You busting that bitch down.
got the oysters, the brains. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We want to give this another 30 seconds. Whoever has the most food on their plate loses. Wow, this smell like a Coney Island porta potty on a hot summer day. Yo, Somebody give me. Yo, you almost just made me fucking throw up. You a nasty ass nigga, I swear. Because why would you do that? You said you smell like hot dookie. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, I hate throwing up. Once I start throwing up, it just, it don't stop. I don't know what I be doing. Three, two, one. Ding, 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 Please stop. Anna, she did good. <laughs> but thing one is the winner. Because she got the most food off of her plate. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Hotness. Miss Miami. Oh, hi. Who do you think you're hotter than? Hotter than buns. You know I got big for buns. I got to pick her fat ass, let her know, bitch. I am hotter than you. So what you had two kids. Okay, ladies, check this out. I forgot, she a weird prospect, y'all. She got an attitude issue. Oh, yeah, it might be Vontae's perfect, low key. She's Vontae's perfect, y'all. I need a lady that's hot. So, got some bikinis for y'all to change into right now. Now, I want to see who can get the hottest inside. They thought I was talking about who can look the hottest. No. At the end of the day, it's the inside of you that what counts to me. You got three minutes. Whoever has the hottest body temperature inside wants the competition. I had jumping rope. I'm seeing, I'm seeing two solid bills right here, man. Both of these, they can go, both go to the park and get buckets. Now, one of them might have to go to the 1v1 court. One of them might have to run twos. But both of them can get buckets right here. Oh, I even had a trampoline. Go! Let me not be childish. Even had a trampoline. Go! God damn! That's right, do whatever it takes to get that body temperature up. Miami starts jumping, and that little bikini. Wow. Oh, she was dope. She was slamming. She was hot. Three, two, one. Okay, come on. Hurry up to your marks, oh, ladies. Let me get your air. Let me get your air. Damn. Miami's number is 100.8 and Buns is 100.58. So the winner is Miami. I'm hotter. So I beat Buns, big fat ass. Girl, I think. Lady is not even fat. Look what they call fat in 2003. I'm gonna be throwing up all day. This season. Yes. Who do you think you're a better mother than? I'm gonna go with Prancer. <laughs> I hope Prancer kicks season's ass. Check this out. I need a lady that can. Bitch, that look racist. Now. Kick season's ass. Check this out. I need now, a. Wait a minute, bitch. One more time. <laughs> I hope Prancer kicks season's ass. Check. Now wait a minute, bitch. Why that motherfucking mannequin looks like that? That motherfucker like a, somebody granny. I know some niggas grannies that look like this, yo. Shout out to granny. <laughs> that motherfucker look racist, bro. This out. I need a lady that can run the household and get the kids out to school on time. So whichever one of y'all can get my boy dressed, lunch packed, backpack on, clock on, horns on, get my boy to the bus stop the fastest, We'll win the challenge. All right. Go! Come on, my boy, gotta get to school. Come on. He broke his arm, CPS. Prancer. CPS. Come on, Thomas, flying that butt. Damn, 
don't see, girl, I ain't know you was open like that. Now, I ain't know you could be a bucket too now. I'm just saying. And like, we need buckets. And you ain't let me know you can hit moving threes? You ain't let me know. We been down. And you ain't let me know you hit moving three. Bus is coming. The attendance is perfect. They got perfect attendance. Gotta put his helmet on right, his helmet is backwards. One of the fastest mama challenge goes to Prancer. Prancer, you had my boy ready before she had my boy ready. Yeah. <laughs> Loser! Ooh, I don't like your motherfucking ass, man. Might need to stick a fucking sticky note on her fucking forehead. What would it say? I don't know, but Damn, I don't like her. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. You haven't even gone yet. Loser. Bye-bye. <laughs> thing one and thing two. Like Who that. do you two ladies think you are more spiritual than? Miami. <laughs> Miami, all right. I need a woman in my life that can understand and feel the power of God. So y'all yeah. have one minute to preach a sermon. To the new live choir. Hallelujah. And a Please let her put clothes on. Please let her put clothes on, Faith. Come on now. Choir gets to decide which girl preached the best. The Lord sent me here to have these special love. I'm tired of these motherfuckers being on the same team. Let me tell you what works. Me too. Now, shout out to the people that watch me, they're twins, because I don't know. Y'all have not told me y'all twins, but I know I have to have somebody. Give up that being the same person shit. Be your own person. I'm tired of thing one and thing two. Matter of fact, change the motherfucker's name. Randomly, one of you motherfuckers is Clarice now. This is not the Flavor of Love Tag Team Edition. Get this team shit out of here. The feelings for this man right here. This man right here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord. Last our presence for Mr. Flavor Flay. Flavor Flay. Come on, Flay. Right. Come on. Right. I prayed to the Lord, Lord, send me a man who was good, mm -hmm. who was kind hearted. Kind hearted. Who was gentle. Gentle. Yeah, run you the more sweat got the same tattoos, bro. That shit is weird as fuck. Who was sincere. Thank you, Lord, for sending us this angel from above. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I was impressed with thing one and things two testimony. I am. I can't believe you, Flav. You pissing me off now. Miami, come to the podium. I was like, this got to be a joke. I'm half naked. I got cleavage out in front of the choir. Oh my God. Coming up. Hello. You see a man and he owe me a thousand dollars. Who is this? I know it's a guy down the phone. Yo, yo. Ah. That's been a big goddamn fire. Get this up, man. Tell y'all gotta uh, get this up from my dog, man. Please. I want my money. Somebody set me up. Who in the background? I hear people. You do not hear anybody. We had a challenge called the Toto Package. Flavor. Oh damn, my ears. You see, you see now. I might just take it off. Finally, I can hear you. <laughs> For a woman, right, on, classy, spiritual too. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't know what to think. I was like, I'm half naked. I got cleavage out in front of the choir. I looked down. I looked up, and words start flowing out. Well, my name is Miami. I'm gonna be y'all pre check for today. <laughs> All, All right. right. If you put yeah. in his Come hands, you don't have to worry about anything else. Come on, Lord now. Jesus, I came to His house. Thinking and wondering, am I gonna be here at the end to be with my man? Hallelujah. If I put it in his hands, he gonna make the way. Come my on, mic is too low. You keep thinking, wondering, and all this trying to control. If you don't put it in his hands, he won't praise the way. All right. All right. All right. Thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Now, no live choir. I want you. I know you ain't been in church in so long, man. I know you ain't been in church. Girl, go get in that word, please. Well, let me know what girl moved y'all the most. Hallelujah, flavor, what's a girl that can praise the Lord? Yeah, 
To the, the loser, loser bench. Are you serious? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Shot. Hey, why Flav Loki clean, man? So, who did you think you are luckier than? Sincere, I'm sorry. Oh, who cares? Sincere, would you join us, please? We're gonna play a game of blackjack, and whoever can come closest to 21 without busting wins. First card okay. up. It's a two of spades. A two, it ain't no the good. Next card up. It's an eight of spades. I'm the starting next off card all right. Up is a ten of clubs. At twelve, so hit me. You have twelve. The next card is a king of hearts. You have eighteen. Eighteen, stay. Don't do nothing. Now you can get risky. Now if you really want to ball out, like, you can get risky. But I think I'm gonna stay with eighteen. So, looks like you're gonna have to take a hit. Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. Yes! <laughs> so I'm happy since you're off, but now I gotta sit next to her on a loser's bench. I miss my babies. <coughs> I've been sick. Now she's been sick. Now, I miss my kids. I'm worried about my house and my bills and shit. I can't have my electricity getting turned off and my kids, like, staying out in the street and shit. Well, we were all sitting on the loser's bench. Buns have mentioned that she's got other bullshit back at home to worry about then how she ain't got no damn money because this is just a game mm -hmm. competition it's what's expected bums made it disturbing what is up with y'all giving your enemies information like i just don't get oh my camera fuck i move my damn camera what the fuck i just don't get it statement to us she said that being here was just only a game so what is her real motivation of being here miss Plancer, who do you think you're smarter than shy miami just graduated from college and shy just doesn't seem that bright so the choice was obvious to me now ladies uh, i got a lot of smart friends and sometimes my smart friends be telling me so many things to where i can't even hardly understand them i need a lady that can really explain to me best what my friends are talking about. Okay. I got Professor Rule. He has a PhD in nuclear physics. The professor is gonna explain to you how the sun works. Now, whoever can explain to me best of what he said will win this competition. Doc, go. Our sun began as a titanic globe of dust and gas billions of years ago. The key formula, PV equals NRT. Now the key operative factor here is fusion. That's that the nigga put me to sleep. atomic bomb. The man was talking so fast I hardly understood anything that he was saying. Fields energy because the hydrogen atoms have more binding energy per particle than do the helium atoms. So when you have this fusion, energy is released. That's the basis of the hydrogen bomb. In about five billion years, our sun will die out and become a red giant. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. All right, Prancer. All right. What he said was one ten million mass, uh, something about fusion, and in five billion years the sun will die, and the sun will be a cold diamond, and that's how the sun works, or is working, or will work, or something. <laughs> that's the sun for you. Good evening, Professor and Flav. Um, when I get out here, the whole thing was. We're saying you graduated college. What do you mean to uh, G two? Us. In about, about 4.5 billion years, um, the sun is going to actually blow up. Huh? Shy, what are you talking about? There will be no sunlight, and then we're not going to be able to breathe. And because of all the molecules and the fusions and the, um, the energy that's been released from the sun, we will not be able to breathe. <laughs> and that's it. Somebody give her ass a Tic Tac and a book, please. A Tic Tac and a book. All right, send it back to where she belongs. Matter of fact, in this game, we're going to take you to the loser bench. You're done. That was very good. Shy was either totally confused or totally stupid. Which one explained everything that you said the best? I think that she did a better job. And honestly, I think so too, Doc. Yeah, <laughs> so I made... It's hot, babe. 
I see them stains under that arm now. Now let me tell you what, I know we all human. But that look real musty. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I be like when my woman kind of hide certain things from me. You know what I'm saying? And you should have hit that must. Because that was crazy. Made it into the final challenge and it's down to me and my aunt. You're gonna be in my bed, bro. I need a lady that's got my back. You know what I'm saying? And that can save me from danger. Now here it looks like we got a little earthquake going on. You gotta help me. You gotta save me. I would do everything and anything for Flav. But... I can't get my hair away. First one that can get Flav out of the pool and over to the metal cool cot is going to be the winner. And that's the one that gets a solo date with your man tomorrow. I'm looking at Flav like, I can't just jump in this pool without my kid. It ain't finna happen. I was like, you know what? Just do it. Just make sure you swim with your head on top. Go! Is he she got on, she got down on that bitch with the shoes on. She Draymond Green for real. Like, you didn't want to take your shoes off? Ha! 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 Oh my God. My whole head just got wet. My eyelashes on, everything I got wet. That's why I'm like, I'm done. Bro, why is they getting up like how them niggas be doing on the movies, bro? Do y'all be knowing, bro, do y'all be knowing like the movies where they be acting like it's an important scene and then like, let's say for example, it's a basketball scene. Everybody be, oh God, look what he's doing. The nigga dribbling up court. Like they all, watch friends, watch. Sit the fuck down. Like this shit can't be happening. Come on, come on. Man, go ahead and draft that number one, man. I think I might have a new number one overall prospect in here, man. Got a winner. Ah! So I'm completely excited. I just won the challenge. Third time yeah. in a row. And not only do I get a date, but it's a solo date with my man Flav. Hold on now, now, nigga. I just said we drafted her number one and you tainting my prospect. You about to piss me the fuck off in here. I can't be happier right now. We're in Miami. But I couldn't give up. So I did it for my man, so I just went. Even though that press won by my aunt. Baby Flav, that mannequin is dead. <laughs> <laughs> that mannequin is dead, nigga. You see them niggas when they ate that nasty ass burger on SpongeBob and they had X's on their eyes and shit, the tongues out. That's that fucking mannequin. You need to just stop. Amy was not quitting until she got her dummy onto that medical cot. Right, Miami. And that I really commend her for. I'm ready to jump in after you. Cause I'm not letting nothing happen to you. You hear me? I'm proud no, you did the challenge. Now they're going to the house with a wet head, looking like a wet dog. Hello? Hello. I get a call, and this phone, he's like, yeah, is this Shy? This is Shy. He's like, hey, I got a message for you. How, how, how did you know to ask for me? I, I got Kanisha, baby. She just said my name, and then she owed me a thousand dollars, but I ain't the man to play with. What? He's like, she stole a thousand dollars from me, and I want my motherfucking. Mo it's that fucking. It's Raina. Yo, it's Raina, bro. It's Raina. It's Raina. It's Raina, yo. Raina's a fucking weirdo. Because she was like, yo, it's Shy. Is this Shy? And she's like, tell Miami. She owe me a thousand. She just listed two people. It had to be Raina. Money. But she playing with your wrong man. Are you serious? Serious as hell. Oh my. Now the only thing that had me convinced that 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 it's probably another way that it might not be is that he kind of got a Miami accent as well. So I don't know. My God, that sounds like some straight pimping right there. What? Okay, what's your name, sir? 
You know who I am. But you know what? If I don't get my town now, it's going to be some problems. I pick up the phone, and this guy is going crazy. He is upset. You better pay my money. That's all I got to say, baby. <laughs> and I knew this was not a game. Hello, who is this? Yeah, yeah, she's in Miami. If she pay my money, I'm going to talk to Slade. you see what kind of bra she really is. She there for some fame and some change, man. Well, I feel like at this point, it's like somebody set me up. How the hell did this make no shot name? It doesn't seem right. I hope they pay you good money. So good night and goodbye. Who is it? What he say? I don't know. It's just a, a guy. And I just feel like it's just been set up. Yo, it's she a weirdo, girl, bro. So whoever it may be. Hey, okay, maybe it's a girl that got eliminated. But I know one thing. I don't know this man. Trust me, baby. I'm not worried. No, this is I'm not worried about, about but you mm. not I don't believe this is a setup. This sounds like somebody that know you. He described you. He know where you at. I was disturbed. Sure, are, oh, I can't say it's a certain word. But baby, are you mentally not all the way there? He answered the phone and said, is this shy? Why the fuck would he know your name? With it the whole day. He, when he talked to Flav, he promised Flav, if you give your ass a lie to tell, tell him, you're going to fail. That's what he said. Tell him. Ain't nothing to fail. Flav definitely should be worried on Miami. Just look at all the baggage she got. She got crazy stalker guys calling the house. Now, come on now. Do you want a woman with that much baggage? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I know I don't want one to look at like y'all motherfucking asses. Not my type, man. It's the weak, weak set of twins. The Basham brothers. Like, this is just, y'all got it. Coming up. Oh, well, you're going to be finger painting with your whole body. You have to get undressed. We cannot get naked on our first date, right? And later. My life got threatened yes, because of you. This house is definitely out of control. If a person going to threaten you, this shit is serious. Bro, here goes Shy snitching to Flav again. I got a child support check yet. And then I'm worried about the kids and stuff. And the bills and. If you're gonna be there or not, you know. I have they two fighting boys, for one is six and one is three. I was worried they about who was gonna be able to take care of my kids for the rest of the time I was here. So I'm just gonna come home then. This is stick up, don't move. Vons, she was on the phone telling her family she wanted to go home. Talk Talking about my little boy's bad behavior at school. And how is your little boy doing? They're both good, but yeah, he's acting up because mom ain't there to keep him in line. Wow, sounds like bad news to your boy. I'll send him a message and step, tell him I said hello. I will. Honestly, maybe she might want to go home and take care of certain issues. Prancer. Now today, I got a solo date with Prancer because she won the Total Packages Challenge. How are you? Uh, you look good. Thank you. Uh. So this is my third date, and I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable around Flav. And okay. I just want us to have a good time together. Word. Word. Watch your step, Mrs. Presser. Thank God she ain't got them damn heelys so on. Today, I got a special date lined up for Prancer. And it's very artistical. Flavor Flavor's Flav is an artistical kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? Wow. There's this, like, body art of these, like, naked bodies. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Shirley. I'm really happy you're here. So um, you're going to be doing a, a body print. OK. You have to think about it like when you were a child and you were doing finger painting. Well, you're going to be finger painting with your whole body. So you have it's to get undressed. These are nudes. Right? Look, look at his freak ass. He was ready to go. We cannot get naked on our. Damn. Damn, whoever that was need to put them up. <laughs> Our first date, like, no. I ain't gonna lie, but I never was a porno star before. Just get undressed as much as you possibly can. So, we get undressed for the occasion. Can you rub it in? <laughs> yes, just rub it in. We just start putting paint all over each other. That's what I call getting downright messy, baby. Wow. Make sure I get it off. Wow, 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 wow. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, 
He pulls out a big old canvas. And me and Prancer laid side by side to make an imprint on the canvas. Wow. Boy, was our imprint the bomb. Man, boy, what the fuck is that? Was our imprint the bomb. What the fuck is that? And now nah, I skipped it because I'm seeing something I don't want to fucking see. Nah, get that shit the fuck off my screen. Congratulations, to our <laughs> Frank, you got me fucked up, nigga. Now you got me fucked up, yo. I didn't watch the show too fucking long to see some shit like that, nigga. First solo game. Bro, this bro. will not be our last. Nah, yo. Hey, yo. First solo date, and hopefully this will so I got a shit out. not be our last. Cheers to that. So before lunch was over, I let Flav know that a really strange call had come in from Miami. Something about that's her fiance. She stole $1,000 from him. And if Shy didn't relate a message, then he was coming to the mansion to do something. He don't even know where my manager is He at. said he know where it's at. Let that motherfucker come anywhere near my crib. He'll get shot. <laughs> so. Hey, Flav, I fuck with you, gang. Hey, bro, bro talking like he me. Uh, bro gonna be done coming to the crib. You're bugging out. I'm mad now. Now your man is mad. Well, that's disrespectful. Very. How are you gonna come here portraying yourself to be my woman when you got a man calling me, calling my house? What the hell is going on here, folks? I gotta get to the bottom of this. Gotta get to the bottom of this. Coming up. Bitch, I ain't moving nowhere to shot town Me and Miami, we going head to head. Don't underestimate nobody, Miami. And later. I told you. Let them know. Chicago, Chicago in the chat. Stand up. Everything I had to Stand up, Chicago. Tell you last night. How did this person know you're here? I didn't want no. I know this is that runchy. Let me tell you what. She is getting the just a total pack of ass in her face and is yelling shot town stand up. It's horrible. Unexpected guests coming to my house. When me and Prince got back to the mansion, boy, before I got out the limo, you can hear all of the screaming in there. You would never let him know if you never heard that phone call, bitch! I was kind of afraid to go up in there because I might have got burnt by the fire. I got motherfuckers at my house on the lookout because of you. So I'm wondering if the phone calls are pranked because Raina was calling, threatening people in the house. But hey, who am I to say anything about that? Don't underestimate nobody, Miami. I'm just looking at her like this drag queen looking bitch. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Man, you know that woman do not like a drag queen. Y'all just be saying shit, bro. Y'all just be saying shit. She one of the best looking women on this show. You need to let that little lie go, baby. Oh my God. I thought I, oh, I thought I was shitting the wrong goddamn screen while I'm looking for something to pull on screen. I just got scared like a motherfucker. I just got scared. All right, keep going. Skin, bin, who I don't got this back You the one on me, I'm it's standing my ground. Nigga watch porn? No, I ain't watch no goddamn porn, but it's something I can't show on Twitch. But chat, this was in my head, bro. Man. Dog. It's 25. Oh, hell nah. I ain't taking your goddamn porn. Hey, hey. Come here. Huh? What the fuck that smell is? What do you mean? I just took a shower, sir. That shit stank like a motherfucker. What stink, me? Well, the fuck that smell is? <laughs> sir, that's what kind of customer service hey, is that? Hey, that shit stank, man. Yeah. Yeah, how much is my order? Don't even worry about it. That shit stank like a motherfucker. Nah, I mean, I took my... I'm gonna call somebody, please, so I'm not taking my motherfucker. No. Wait a minute, wait. No. <laughs> I'm a cops right for you, Sean. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait a minute. That's 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 what bad. is that? 
What is what? That fucking smell. What you mean? What, <laughs> what's that fucking smell? Well, what the fuck you just did? It might be your ass. See, I mean, fucked up. <laughs> Hey man, have a nice day, man. Oh, goddamn, something bad. That shit stinks. I just took a shower. I told you. Uh, whatever the fuck that is. Bad customer service. That shit stinks, man. Uh, I'm sorry, what? man. Uh, they got a number right here. You can call that shit right there and report me. However you want to do it, man. You have a blessed day. God bless. Ah! Fuck, yo, nigga. <coughs> Dog. This video is so fucking funny, dog. Bro. What is that, the beard? I think you said what she smell like. Dog, oh, bro, that video is so fucking funny, bro. I think you said, what is that? I'm sorry, I know there was a random ass sidebar, but I was literally watching this show laughing at that in my head, bro. God, this shit is amazing, bro. I go out in the house, I see Miami crying, and then I see Shy upset about something too. Why is Shy always fighting with the other girls? I get threatened because of this bitch. I got people around my house looking around. My cousin got shot of the same threat. Shy, can you explain? Because he doesn't know what's going on. Please, you tell him what happened. I need to step out for a second. Excuse me. I already told him what happened. Excuse me. No, you did tell him what happened. I'm fucking lying. You just tell them I'm right, Shy. Get your TV time, Shy. Please, get your TV time. My life is at stake. People want to take it for a joke. I'm upset. You know what I'm saying? And Miami is taking me lightly. Please don't bring her in here. Please. Please, Flav. I'm asking you. So what I finally decided to do was to round up the girls, because right now this house is definitely out of control. I went to the phone. I picked up, I said, hello? She's like, the latest message to Miami. I'm like, okay. He said, tell that bitch I'm coming here to get my motherfucking money. And tell that bitch she better come back up with my money. I'ma be down there in two days. I'ma blow in the motherfucking Fuck house. I'm obsessed with my because God. I had experience with my cousin. My cousin just died because of something she did. Her and her friend, they stole some money from this guy. The guy came and blew her face out, blew the girl's face out, blew the baby face out, and he shot his own self. I wasn't playing with no threat because my cousin, she had one threat. Man, the next day she got shot. I know them threats you just can't play with. He's like, and bitch, if you're on the land, I know where you stay. God damn. Jesus. Hey, yeah, and you gonna be in for one. I'm like, what the fuck is damn. going on? Jai told me how Miami stole a thousand dollars from this guy, and this guy wanted to come way out to my mansion to come get it from her. But her breath, G, her breath. Her fly, 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 fly. She telling a sad story. <laughs> Fly. Nah, this nigga is not a real person, bro. This nigga not a real person, though. Wasn't all that great. This shit is serious. If a person say they're going to threaten you, don't play with me. He's like, and shot. I know what you did. You should call and go. We all in this house threatening. You said tomorrow they're going to blow it up. I'm not trusting it. You got to go. This bitch no. is taking it for a joke. About, it ain't nothing. It's a princess. Probably one of the girls that left. Well, let me say Ooh. this. Thank you. Let me know what she didn't let me know. That a motherfucker is calling my crib, threatening people that have nothing to do with it. I have issues with that. So I'm gonna pull Miami and I'm Yo, gonna talk Preston to her looks about so familiar, bro. Okay. Clearly we knew who was lying and who wasn't. And that was Miami. But there is something else that he needs to know. He needs, he's our man. Why would we not have our man his back? So um Damn, I, I just wanna know who the fuck told you to be the black fucking Duke Blue Devil. Like what is this shit in your head, bro? Eliminate tonight. Rubbing straight up with me, man. Who do you feel shouldn't be here with us? Miami and Buns. So what? Why Buns? Because we was all sitting over there on the loser's bench and like, I guess, I don't know if she was upset because she lost, but she's like, oh man, this is lame. This shit ain't nothing but a game anyway. I got better shit to be taken care of. Like, why am I here when I got other shit to be worried about? Sincere and the twins told me that Buns said that this ain't nothing but just a game. This is Flavor Love 3. This ain't no game. She it was something going on. She didn't kind of thought it was for her children. Flav, do I have away. news for you? And she was like, well, I got other shit that I have to take care of. And I have no man's going to come before any of that. Don't be selfish because you want to win. If, so, if you got to take care of your situations at home, 
then take care of them if you know your heart and your head is not here. That's not right for other females that really here for you. I just really wanted Bun to be a real woman and say, okay, I'm not going to be selfish. I got to clear up my things at home. Are you really here to be here? Or are you just here? Bro, y'all don't give a fuck if another woman is being selfish. Because let me tell you what the fuck is selfish, motherfucker. Or let me tell you what, don't, you know, don't tell me what's right or wrong. Because two motherfuckers appealing to Flavor Flav's freak nasty ass side and trying to give him some kind of freaky erotic fantasy with twins. That's the only reason why you motherfuckers are here. If you were an individual, you would have been gone day one. The only reason you're here, cause you're twins. It's not fair for other females. Get out of here. Because you just, just here. So that was a real concern that we had. Mm -hmm. If a man's planning on getting involved with the woman, I think he needs to know about all the extra baggage that she's carrying. And she was not upfront and honest to him about that. I'm gonna holler at you in a minute. We'll see y'all in a minute. Welcome right. right. to the kitchen. Thank, Thank you, Slade. Right now, buns. So I'm gonna get <laughs> buns so I can get to the bottom of things. So listen, by talking to twins, sincere, mm -hmm. they let me know. I figured they would say something. I'm really mad at the twins and sincere for doing- You one hating ass nigga, Trey. Why am I hating ass nigga? Because I don't like them twins? Why? Listen, bro. Them twins is weak as hell, bro. I'm talking about no buckets. There's no place for them in our league. Absolutely no buckets. They play, they look like they, or you put them in the game to hard file the superstar that's cooking too much. We're trying to get that kind of brand of basketball out of this league. We don't want to deal with it anymore. We're not going to do it. Doing what they did. So now Flav doesn't really know what's going on. Like the day before the um, challenge we had yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of feeling down and out, you know, and missing my kids, having some household <coughs> issues with bills and whatnot. And so, yesterday at the challenge, Sincere heard, I said this was just a game. But what I said was, this challenge is just a game. I'm not about to sit here and pout a cry and cry about losing. Pun said that they got it twisted because she said that she was talking about the challenge as being a game, not being on Flavor of Love 3. <coughs> so when you mentioned that you had more things to to worry about what i was saying was my kids come Friends first and foremost and i didn't for know six who months. this league is beyond cooked yo mt thank you bro what's gonna be able to keep my kids i'm trying to fix but it but i worked it out today so i'm back on track i'm good now basically i was like you know yeah i was off track for a minute but i got all that straight now and, I, and i'm good you know on that note <laughs> so she will okay So next up, Look what I did nigga. was plan something real special for Miami to see if she had anything else to tell me for elimination. I just wanted to give her one more final chance to come clean before I have my elimination ceremony tonight. You're not going to go nowhere. Flav has never done it before he's mighty o'clock before elimination. You have to say he really feel it. What kind of fucking insider trading shit is this? What the fuck is this? You gave her a clock? After you, it might be a nigga calling your house now. I know it's not. What is, the draft is for, you just fuck up the fucking draft, nigga. This is all I got. Me. Don't go no place. <laughs> I put the clock. And I know you're not about to have her walk out of this room with that fucking clock too. Clock around her head. It gave her the clock of immunity. Man, tell y'all see how bad bitches be having niggas just doing crazy shit. You be moving out your body, man. You be moving out your body, man. I'm telling you, man, bad bitch is kind of overrated. I'm telling you that right now. Because you just do all kind of crazy shit, and then all of a sudden, later on, when y'all start fucking with the team, like, man, I'm wrong as fuck for that shit. This, this, this nigga's tripping. Okay. You would love to stick around. Is there any butts? 
Besides your butt. <laughs> Huh? No, but I just Miami could have got anything from me. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Mm -hmm. So I set him down like I gotta tell you something. I came out, told him everything A to Z. I was in college. I was a pretty girl, wanted to do pretty things. So my mind, I went into this model phase. I got me a website, just something small. A little online portfolio, nothing big and major. Okay, and? So Miami started telling me about a modeling career, this and that, that and this, but she wasn't telling her man what he really needed to hear. You sure that there's nothing else you need to tell me? I've been working at Hooters since May, but besides that, that's it. And that's it? That's all. You're not keeping nothing else from me? I'm sitting here trying to think of everything. So do me a favor, take the clock back off then. Take it back off. <laughs> I feel that there's something you're missing. I took the clock back because I felt she was hiding something. Yo, how you the first contestant to get your motherfucking chain snatched? Flav just took the clock from your ass. You're breaking my heart, man. Coming up. Now, I'm going to tell you. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm reporting this nigga. Report violence, hateful, no. Harassment, no. Misinformation. Spam misleading. Caption issue. I none of these fit my need. None of these fit my need, man. What the fuck is he doing to his hair, bro? Cause what what's going on, bro? <laughs> Rick, come on, man. Come on, Rick. Big Rick's about to fall on the ground. He is laughing so hard. <laughs> They done got, they done got Big Rick laughing. Fuck out If Flav don't eliminate <coughs> Miami, my words don't mean shit to him. Baby, hold your breath. At this point, I'm not ready. Not for long, I feel like but just for them. I'm supposed to be here, I will be here. Look at this nigga. Ladies. Good evening, Flav. Right now. I just want to know, for the record, who think this is really a game? If you really think this is... Nigga, we all think it's a game when you come in this bitch looking like that. You got Jon Snow's goddamn cape on. You got some motherfucking rainbow shit going on in your head with fucking glitter. And you got a clock on, nigga. We all think it's a game. This is a game. Step up to the plate right now. Right now, I'm looking for all of these girls to show me who they are. I see all they want to do right now is fight. But where's the love for play? I ain't <laughs> feeling the love. The love for play. I know that you've been worrying about your children. Me, I'm a father of seven. And I wouldn't put my kids on the back burner for nobody. The kids are way more important than Flavor Flav. I would rather you be with your kids. Any other man, Buns, wouldn't give a flying F. <laughs> right. But I give a flying Flav. If it wasn't for that issue right there, right now, I would let you stick around. But your time is up. Okay. This is very hard because I was. Let me let you know something right now. Buns, you was some solid. You was all right. It was all right, Buns. It was all right, Buns. It was all right. But now you're gone, man, because your kids, bro. It's tough. I was making a really good connection with Flay. Five or six. Now, I didn't say she was amazing. I didn't say she was amazing. She was all right. But on the same hand, him being a father. Latina, not snow, nigga. Shit, like snow to me. 
there. He understands my pain. So if I had to go out, this is the best way it could have happened. Get your buns out of here. Come on, girl. <laughs> I'm going to legit on it. Nah, man. I might move her up to a seven. Get your buns out of Bye, here, buns. man. <laughs> kind of bittersweet. I am bummed I'm leaving. I really was feeling flayed, but at the same time, I'm going home to my kids, so I really can't be mad, you know? Thing one, thing two. Come step to me. God, these fuckers is goddamn number one in this draft. I don't even care about this draft. First video, I'm not going to pick who goes number one. What is this? <laughs> I ain't going no place. <laughs> Are you? Are you? No. Are you? Oh my God. Oh. Now we've got the first clock. So I was just ecstatic about that. We were very excited. Thank you, Flame. This clock right here goes to Prancer. <laughs> Prancer deserved to be number one. Solid pick. I think that if I look up Prancer now, she'd probably look better. I think she might be one of the women that look better with time. Now, I don't know that, though, because, man, I, some of the women on this show, ooh, they age horribly. But, yeah, Princess is solid. Uh, those twins, Flav, you are sick, sick, sick man. You haven't really been in the loop, and you haven't really been in, in all of this, and I respect you for that. Would you accept this clock for me and let me get to know you a little more better? Absolutely. These bitches better watch out, because I'm going to get my man. She got to stop the hairstyle. That shit look whack. And she got to stop them heelies, too. Cecilia, come get your clock. <laughs> Would you accept this clock from me tonight? Damn right. What a nasty draft. I just think one day I woke up. One season, we're coaching NFL. Next season, we're drafting for the NBA. All of a sudden... They sent my motherfucking ass to Australia or something. I'm in a Russian league or something. This shit ain't right. Hotlanta, come get your clock. You know what time it is. Seasons, come get your clock. Are you Shorty married with kids now and love Jesus. Shout out to Jesus. You hear from me, Seasons? Yes, I am. One clock left, two bodies. It's me and Miami. It's one o'clock left. I'd rather go home and get killed, and the killer gonna be looking for Miami, and the bitch is in the house, and he coming out the shot. You know what I'm saying? Miami, you are eliminated. I think Shad should get eliminated because that breath smell like doo doo. But Miami, you're clearly holding something back. You are done with Flav. <laughs> One clock left, two bodies. I feel like if I leave out the house, it's for a reason why I'm leaving out the house. Maybe I gotta I find the name of that sound effect. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe not. One clock, two terrific bodies. Once again, this is one of the hardest choices that a man has to make. But somebody's got to make them. Big Rick? Yes, sir. Clock, please. This is what Flav look like? What is this? Get this shit off my screen, bro. Miami, come down. When you call my name, I got you, like <sighs> Thank God. Miami? With the situation with you, you didn't tell me that, that this guy calling here, saying all of these things, Shai said, Francis said, that this guy here called and he was no joke. I don't know what's the truth, but I'm not taking no chances till your time is up. Sneaky. Tell them I'm Why did you not say anything? But you know what? I get it. I kept thinking, Chad, I promise you on me. I kept thinking, why is Shorty not saying nothing? Because she knows what the fuck is happening. 
But I get it. It's a competition. I'm in the clear. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody. She just got rid of the biggest competition on the show. She knew she was competition. Shit, but thank you. Th right there. She knew she was competition. I've never seen that. Like, nigga, she just, this is like somebody interfering in a damn match. Rain, real shit, you are a fucking weirdo. You're a fucking weirdo. You went home and kept worrying about Flavor fucking Flav. Who you clearly didn't like, and you was clearly fake as fuck. You just did some weird ass shit. But, shorty right here, I get it. On the tail flame, I said, watch this grill. Ooh. What well, is cool with me? Get the bitches out slowly. I don't know what's going on with this phone call. I don't know who the guy is. I just don't know. To me, it's not fair because it's nothing that I can prove or nothing he can prove it. But at the same time, it's like, if they find out that somebody else set me up, that's on him because you know what he's done? He done lost a good one. Shy, you got to come get your clothes. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so relieved, you know, because I thought I was going home and I wasn't moving. Would you accept this clock from me tonight? I'm with Ernest every time. Just look at what we got to watch, y'all. Look at these prospects. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason why I didn't really connect with you that much. I don't know what's going on in your mouth. You must have a bad tooth or something. Your breath. Seriously. I want you to correct that. Because I want to connect with you, man. I don't feel bad at all for Shy. These are things that can be fixed. If you have bad breath, chew on mints. I'm not the only one that's saying that. There's other people saying that too, Shy. <laughs> Look at Red. Big Rick's about to fall on the ground. He is laughing so hard. <laughs> Big Rick, come on, man. <laughs> Big Rick, chill, man. No. Come on, Rick. <laughs> I felt bad for her, but really, she got a fucked up grill. Sha, yeah, you know what time it is. Go back to your spot. I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? I'm like, me? On Tim? I'm like, I'm trying to smell what he was talking about. I'm feeling fresh right there. Whatever. It is what it is. As long as I got my clock with my hot ass breath. Mm, I still here with this hot breath. Thank you. Lady. Chicago, stand the fuck up, nigga. Stand up, nigga. Shot still in the fucking building, nigga. Come gather around your man. I ain't gonna lie, but it's gonna get serious. That nigga said, we good. <laughs> I ain't never seen a nigga when somebody tell your city stand up. That nigga said, we good. <laughs> <laughs> we good. Oh my shit. god. You know what I'm saying? Because this ain't no joke. Nah, and hopefully, I find love again. Real love again. Congratulations to everybody for being in the mix with my top six. So, one time for your man. Let me hear you say, Flavor, Flay! Flavor, Flay! Maybe you got some nerve to be opening your mouth after we just said that. Next time on Flavor of Love. I want to welcome y'all, two of my friends. Yo! You know you're going to do a calendar shoot, right? Very cute. Uh -huh. No way he brought this girl back. My friends. Yo! You, know you, you bring her back when she was legit eliminated the first episode of season fucking one. I mean, season two. Why is she back? And Bucky. Buck Wild. I'm surprised you're back, baby. But fuck it, welcome. Welcome back. Keep that fake ass axe in, but welcome back. 
Chat W episode. Let me do a <coughs> shoe, right? Very cute. Uh huh. Yeah. If it was up to Prancer, Prancer would have been on every fucking month. May. I'll do it. March. I'll, I'll do it. it. I'll do it. I'll do it. They're starting to see now that I'm somebody that they need to worry about. How many shots did Prancer got? She got like twenty thousand. No hell no. Y'all not the Valentine's? Prancer and bearded women are totally taking over the whole shit. Y'all not the Valentine's? Prancer and bearded women. I mean, boy, we got boy. Who is these? Look at these two prospects. Totally taking over the whole. And you're mad because your week. I'm sorry. I've, I've I've said enough about these two women because they've never done nothing to me in life. But you got some fucking nerve. You got some fucking nerve. Being mad that somebody's on a calendar over you. Oh shoot. Y'all not being fair, you been sneaky. Oh, you want not rice right. for the calendar. Right. Y'all don't want best for the calendar. Oh, hot Atlanta. Being fair, you been sneaky. You want not rice for the calendar. Y'all don't want best. Hot Atlanta, dead bill, baby. Let's see that. Y'all been having that? pretty bad. Connivers. We know, thank you. Ho. Uh, ladies, I'm sorry. Y'all do not belong to this man. So, I got some of my bomb dog coming through just for you. Excuse me? You're gonna bring in what? Hey, ladies! What the hell is going on here? It's about to be a... Oh, damn, what's going on? I was sleepy, but fuck.